Hello and welcome back to Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition with me, Barden, the nameless one, Dakon, Anna, and Mort. And then we got Pestle and Kiln here as well. And some random people. So let's head on outside. So we need to find somewhere to rest pretty soon, I think. Done. Uh, well, we can go over there. Let's head into the tent and see what the story is. Small dwelling. I'm gone. Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing there. Can't rest here. Okay. It looks like the perfect place to rest though. But oh, what's there actually this person in there? The sweet smell of sensates and All right. Who are you? Aspiring sensate artist. Let's talk to you. This attractive pale faced girl smiles at you. Motioning towards a book full of charcoal scra sketches. Greetings and well met, good sir. My name is Ulana. I am an artist by trade and would gladly make a fine sketch of you, but five for but five copper commons. I can make a serious sketch if you like, or a caricature. So we can just say no thanks for a while. She smiles, but somewhat sadly. Farewell then. Please do not hesitate to return should you change your mind. Let's leave. Why can't we get a sketch? That'd be nice. Bit of fan art for the names. I'm gone. Okay, let's head up this way. Who have we got here? Hello, Brand. Okay. This old woman examines you closely with her sharp grey eyes. First your face, then your arms and various tattoos. Greetings, scarred one. Come to speak with Ella Brand, may have ye? Come to have your fortune told, mayhap, for a paltry five coins. Yes, tell me my fortune. Ella Brand places your coins in her belt pouch and takes your hands. She quietly studies your palms, frowning deeply. At long last she speaks. Some rare folk are what's called fateless, you see. They wander through their lives doing as they see fit, creating their own destiny. You have no fortune to tell, Scar. None at all. I'm not to tell you. And so here is your coin. She returns your five coppers. I see. I had some questions. Ella Brandy places your coins. Hang on. That's the same one, isn't it? I do not speak of things mundane, Scar. In that case, farewell. Okay. Hold ye one moment, Scar. Ella Brande reaches out, touching your arm. My mother gave me something once, long ago, a scroll, sealed with wax. A hooded man had entrusted it to her, and said that a man such as he would one day unwittingly come to claim it. Here, I would have you take it now. What is it? Ella Brande shakes her head, frowning. I do not know. She was sworn never to read the thing, and I obeyed her request to leave the seal unbroken myself. The man had paid her handsomely to take the scroll, but warned her of the dirtiest consequences should she open it. Thanks then, farewell. Okay. So, suspicious sealed scroll. Why is this suspicious? The scroll has been tightly bound with red ribbon and sealed with wax. You can't put your finger on it, but you've got a bad feeling about the thing. As if opening and reading the scroll could be somehow dangerous. Okay, so let's not open and read the scroll then. Why does Mort not have any? Let's give him those ones. And let's give him some of this um, bloody teardrop. Here, take that and that. Okay, and Bulwark, let's continue also on. Known as Wanker City. Oh god, she says that a lot, doesn't she? Let's head on out this one. Okay, so what have we got over here then? Citizens. Old Poet. Okay, let's talk to the old port.
This kindly looking old man spares you only the briefest of glances before returning to his recitation. Uh, let's not heck with the poet. Who are you? Oh, Eli Havelock. Okay, Eli, we want to have a chat. This narrow-eyed, sharp-faced man is scanning the surroundings with a look of vague disinterest, pausing occasionally to look down and pick at his fingernails. Despite being clothed in silk and velvet finery, he managed to look unsavory and more than a little dangerous. Greetings! The man looks your way. His eyes are dark slits, like narrow stab wounds beneath his brow. His voice is low and gruff, despite his slender build. Take off! Not yet, I have some questions. You think I wandered a ward looking for strangers to spill dark for? Now pike off! Why are you here then? To be surly with passers-by? Hey! He stands quietly for a moment then breaks a crooked smile. That's good, that. He considers for a moment. I am a tutor at the Civic Fest Hall. Name's Havelock. Eli Havelock. As a veteran scout, I teach the art of subterfuge. You mean thievery? His lips curl in a, up in a disgusted sneer. Thieves and thievery is a, it always is. Five thurs I spent as a reconnaissance operative in the War of Lies. Scout is my title. Scout. I teach the ways of stealth and spycraft, not common thievery. My apologies, I meant no offence. Could you train me? Eli frowns sourly. I don't know. I've had enough for teaching petty pickpockets and curious sensates for the time being. Almost to himself he mumbles, not sure why I agreed to do it in the first place. Perhaps because by teaching others you make them aware of your own skills. Hmm. At the same time you defend the nobility of your skills by assuring them that you're no common thief but a scout and spy, a master of subterfuge. Eli nods, mulling over what you said. Aye, there's no denying it. It's sort of sorry, though, when you look at it that way. I don't, I don't think so. Those of your trade are often misunderstood. Thrust unfairly into the same category as footpads and brigands. There's nothing wrong with dispelling false notions. Ha! Right again you are. He gives you a friendly punch to your shoulder. Thanks, blood. He suddenly looks off into the distance. Well, enough wasting time out, out here. I'm heading back to the fest hall. If you still want to train, that's where you'll find me. Perhaps I'll see you there, Eli. Farewell. Okay. So, oh, nice. We got 12,000 XP for that. Uh, is this the fest hall here then? I'm gone. Let's pop in here. Ooh, you are a harlot. Hang on. You're Jolmi's messenger. Okay, let's talk to you. This slender young man approaches you wearing a somewhat worried expression. One thousand pardons, sir, but I am looking for a certain man and I think you might be able to help me. Oh, how so? I am a messenger, sir, who seeks a man it said cannot die, a scarred man, for whom death is nothing but the most trivial of annoyances. You match the admittedly vague description I was given, sir, and I wondered if you were he. Yes, that's me. He nods, then bows deeply to you. A message for you then, sir. Mistress Jolmy of the House of Sirma, a lady of high standing, has sent me. Mistress Jolmy would meet you in the Civic Fest Hall, where she would make a proposal, of which I know nothing, to you. Should you choose to seek her out, she wears green silks, trimmed with gold, and has hair the colour of blue steel. This is the extent of my message, sir. Farewell. Wait, where's the Civic Fest Hall? Updated my journal. In the northeast, northeastern corner of this part of the clerk's ward, sir. Tis a large structure and shall be easy to spot. Farewell now, sir. Farewell. So this isn't the Fest Hall, so... Uh, let's pop in and see what it actually is. Oh, the brothel. Okay, definitely not the Fest Hall. Then. I'm gone. Okay, let's pop in. Surprise Mort is making gags. Bottle patron. First, fall from grace. Okay. Let's have a chat with you. Before you, you is a stunning golden haired woman, dressed in an azure and violet dress. 
With two long, elegant wings draped across her shoulders, she is surveying the room with a slight smile. She is easily the most beautiful woman you have ever seen. Greetings. Well met, traveler. How may I help you? The woman turns to you, turns as you address her. She takes your measure, then nods slightly. You notice her eyes are azure, the exact same color as her dress. Well met, traveler. She reaches up to brush back a stray lock of golden hair. How may I help you? Who are you? Updated my journal. I am called Fall from Grace. She studies you for a moment. You are new to Sigil, are you not? No, I suspect I have been here for quite some time, actually. Fall from Grace raises an eyebrow. Indeed. Yes, but that is a long tale, perhaps longer than I know. I am more interested in what this place is. This is the brothel of slating intellectual lust. She studies you for a moment. I take it by your question that you did not intend to partake of this entertainment. Brothel of slating intellectual lust? What kind of brothel is this? I established this brothel to give those lustful fervors that strike the mind more avenues of expression rather than simply carnal. Much pleasure can be had in conversation and engaging in the verbal arts with others. Sounds sounds dull. I assure you it is not. Tour the brothel, see for yourself. I have to ask, why did you establish such a place? Fall from Grace raises an eyebrow. That is an odd question, she frowns. I don't think anyone has ever asked me that, at least directly. My apologies, Lady Grace. I didn't mean to be so direct. I was merely curious. Oh, no apologies are necessary. I am more than happy to discuss the reasons with you, if you wish. I would like to hear them, yes. Part of the answer to your question requires that you know that I am a member of the Society of Sensation. Our faction believes that one should experience as many, much of the multiverse as possible. And that is why you established this place. This brothel is intended to state the lusts of even the hardened intellectual. It is designed to stimulate the mind, to heighten one's awareness of themselves and others, to create new ways of experiencing another person. It is for those who seek something more than the shallow physical pleasures that fill the hive and lower wards. I see. So this establishment encourages intellectual fencing rather than, uh, what the other kind of fencing, well, the other kind of fencing. The women here must be special indeed. The women here are aspiring senses. They have come to me in search of instruction to prepare themselves to enter the faction. Also, many of them have a natural grasp of language that can shatter the crust of most hardened individuals. I see, so the ladies here are ladies in training, so to speak. Yes, I hope that by learning the art of language and its subtleties, that the patrons and the students here may learn more about themselves. One is only as limited as their command of the language. To be able to employ language to evoke emotion in others is a tremendous skill. I see. Can I ask you some other questions? Okay, so let's see what we have available. Um, if I ask, um, are you not human? Okay, what is this place? I came here looking for help. Perhaps you can help me. Can you tell me what sensei? Okay. Um, I'm interested about this one. We'll get to that one though later. Um, if I may ask, Lady Grace, the wings on your back, you are not human, I take it. She's one of the fiends. One of the succubi she is. She'll take your measure, then she'll take your soul to the lower planes. So she will. Your companion is correct. I am a lesser Tenari, more specifically a succubus. She gives you a soft sigh. I am afraid we are a little too common in the lower plains and elsewhere for our good. Most of my race spend their time seducing mortals with various pleasures of the flesh. And you? Updated my journal. I would like to think that I have distanced myself from that. It is ultimately a trivial and non-productive way for one to spend one time here in the multiverse. There is much more to life, wouldn't you agree? 
Perhaps so. Can I ask you some other questions? I came here looking for help. Perhaps you can help me. Help? What kind of help were you looking for? I seem to have lost my memories. In doing so, I've lost myself. You have been stricken with amnesia. Fall from grace looks pained. How terrible. Do you have any idea how it happened? Not really. At least not that I can remember. I woke up on a slab in the mortuary and everything before that looked black. <coughs> Excuse me. You woke in the mortuary? I think the dustman mistook me for being dead, or I was dead, or something. All I know is that I regenerate wounds quickly. I could be immortal, but I don't even know that for sure. Fall from Grace seems to be appraising you with renewed interest. Those scars on your body. She reaches out her hands as if to touch you. May I? Uh, sure. Fall from Grace drags her fingers across your chest lightly. Tracing the edges of your scars and following the curves where they blend into some of your tattoos, she seems fascinated. Those scars do look as if they would have taken several lifetimes to accumulate. They certainly do, though some are more recent. Far from Grace steps back. Some of those wounds would have been fatal to a normal man. She taps her chin, thinking, What do you intend to do now? Uh, let's see, I need to get my memories back and my life back and intend to scour the planes and search for blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I need to get my memories back and my life back. I intend to scour the planes and search inside myself until I can piece together who I am and what brought me to the state. Fall from Grace is still thinking, her fingers tapping on her chin. I must say, I've never met a man who had lost himself in the literal sense. She raised an eyebrow. Forgive me, but your recognition is intriguing. Uh, it is that. Fall from Grace nods. It would, it would help. You are welcome to tour the brothel. Several of our students are well versed in verbal arts. Perhaps some of them will be able to rekindle your memories. I may do that. Can I ask you some questions first? Updated my journal. Yes. Can you tell me about the Sensates? The Sensates are a faction of sigil that is devoted to experience. Without experience, without sensation, we are blinded to much of the multiverse. Thus, Sensates seek to experience as much as possible. When all is experienced, then the truth of the multiverse shall reveal itself. Interesting philosophy. Uh, I see. Can I ask you some other questions? Have you ever heard of a night hag named Ravel? I am familiar with the name. Fall from Grace pauses and thinks for a moment. Rumours cluster thickly about that name, and most tend to discount her as a myth. But I suspect that she did exist, and that she made quite an impression in the cage during her stay here. She looks puzzled. Why do you ask? I intend to seek her out. Grace raises an eyebrow. Truly, I find myself compelled to ask why. I need information that she has. Is this information available for no one else? I suspect that only Ravel possesses the knowledge I need. Updated my journal. Grace rests her hands lightly on your arm. Consider this. If Ravel does indeed exist, then she is extremely powerful and cunning. If a faction, fraction of the stories of her activities are true, then she's a creature that has discovered new meanings of evil. To search her, search for her is not a quest to be undertaken lightly. I realize that. Do you know anything else about Ravel? She was said to be one of the hags of the Grey Waste, and that she was believed to possess powers and a cunning far beyond those of her sisters. She came to Sigil long ago, and in addition to the evils she continued during her her committed during her stay, rumor has it that she that her actions threatened the cage itself. Now she primarily exists only as fiction, a figure in children's stories. Grace pauses. I imagine the Lady of Pain dealt with her as all threats to Sigil are dealt with. Let's show more. How? Updated my journal. Ravel was most likely sent to a maze, one of the lazy prisons. 
What is the grey waste? A blighted place that lies effectively between Bathor and the Abyss. It is frequently a battleground in the Blood War. It Do you know what happened? Um, is there anyone else who might know about her? Someone in the Fest Hall may know more of her. Can I ask you some other questions? Updated my journal. Would you like to join me on my travels? Anna stiffens and starts muttering on her breath. Who's to say she'll be coming with us? We don't need the likes of her, so we don't. Bar that! Uh, let's think more, more, more. Uh, bar that feeling, Mort clicks his teeth together. I'm all for. I'm all for the succubus coming with us. The power knows you're about as fun as passing a caltrop. Caltrop through your bowels. That wasn't Mort's voice, was it? <laughs> You'd best latch your bone box, Skull, or I'll rattle you. So hard they'll be picking your teeth off the spire. Travel with you falls from grace smiles slightly. She seems to be ignoring your companions. That's rather forward of you. I'd rather be honest with my intentions. You seem extremely pleasant and well versed in the ways of the plane. A command companion with the kind of knowledge would be welcome. Hey, hey, wait, wait a minute. I'm the one well versed in the planes. That's my job, Chief. Having two people knowledgeable about the planes in our band seems pretty smart to me. Besides, I said pleasant too, Mort. Pleasant on, the, pleasant on the eye, maybe. Looks to me like all some chit has to do is show a little skin and you'll sign her right up. Mort falls silence. Not that I mind that, really. I just thought I'd mention it. Noted Mort. Look, Lady Grace, excuse me if I'm being too forward, but would you care to travel with us? I appreciate your candor. I shall counter, shall counter with some of my own. Why should I travel with you? You mean you wouldn't be interested in traveling with an immortal Alnesiac who is searching the planes for himself? Oh, I would be extremely interested. She smiles slightly. Such a suggestion is intriguing. Make no mistake, mistake about that. Then would you like to travel with me then? If you wish me to, then there is something you must do for me. There are ten students in this establishment. I would like you to speak to all of them, then return to me with your thoughts. Then we shall see if we shall travel together or not. Very well. Um, I'll go speak to them then. I will turn when I've spoken to all of them. Updated my journal. Okay, and um, because we've got ten people to speak to, I think that's uh, probably something to do in the next episode. So. Uh, for this episode, we're just about done. So from myself, Barden, um, the nameless one, Dakon, Anna, Mort, and Falls from, from Grace, um, it's goodbye, and we do hope to see all of you next time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right, and check out some other videos here on the left.